Andy the Destroyer Ruiz, the guy who folds up his belly in his trousers, king of the dodgy selfie angles, gives us his top 5 heavyweights. Let's check him out. At number 5, we got the one and only. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yep, you guess it. Chris Ariola. <laughs> He probably sat there as well with all his chins, your smiley face, talking about Chris Ariola's top five in the heavyweight division right now. Like, what, what, what sort of maths, what calculations, what, what did you add and subtract to arrive at that conclusion? <laughs> in what world does that make sense? Chris Ariola, top five in the division. Like, it, it makes absolutely no sense. I don't even think Chris Ariola creeps up on my top top fifty. If I even stretched it, I don't. I don't see that. He doesn't even. He doesn't. 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 Didn't Chris Ariola retire last year or two years ago before he even popped back out for this fight? Chris Ariola was just retired. So you're telling me a retired guy's a top five in the division? Come on, come on, Andy. Have some integrity, man. I don't think this top five is gonna make anyone buy the buy the pay per view. I don't. Well, I'm making videos about it, so I guess. I guess you're doing yourself a favor by telling those bold faced lies. You get to, you know, buy yourself a couple more Snickers over this, but integrity comes first, man. Anyways, moving on. Nah, you ain't knock me out. You're my trainer, saved you. <laughs> we got the bronze bubble, you. Yeah, um. Deontay the bro I don't, I don't I don't I don't see how this guy is he doesn't make my top five personally he don't make my top five the only reason he's there is because it's a former um belt holder that's it but in my opinion this guy is not no top five fighter in the division right now no way no way he doesn't make it for me but yeah um just of merit <laughs> can you even call that merit because he didn't he didn't even he fought Stavern for the belt, a vacant belt. He then then he, he didn't fight anybody afterwards until he fought Fury. So he, he, I don't I don't see that. I don't class that as merit. So yeah yeah okay. He he can have his number four. He can have his number four. Moving on. At number three, we got Andy the Destroyer Ruiz, the guy who always seems to lose weight and finds it in the ring on fight night. Former unified heavyweight champion of the world the guy who who, who um mauled aj in madison square garden yeah we, we we gotta give him his flowers he put hands on the boy so yeah we got andy at number three I, I, andy would would actually make my personal top five he, he'd he'd be in there if i was to make one i, I can see him making it in there but yeah fair play he didn't see to step up the competition though this areola stuff is just disgusting but then again, you know, you, you know what team is that? You know, you know, it's with the team PBC. So yeah, no surprise in the opposition is facing, and I probably don't expect any better in this next fight because they're talking about some Wilder fight. We don't even know what the hell is happening. Wilder, the guy could be retired for all we know. So yeah, he he definitely needs to step up the opposition though. He's only fought parker and aj out of the the current relevant people in the division right now that's what he's got everything else is just yeah nah not the one for me but knowing the team is with the wilder fight is probably not gonna happen he's probably not gonna fight anyone of relevance he's just gonna hold out until he can get himself a title shot because over on that side there's no belt over there so they're probably gonna play it safe in and he's gonna buy this his time for a title shot Moving on. At number two, we've got AJ. I actually expected him to rate himself ahead of AJ, but at least he did the right thing and put AJ ahead of himself. I thought he was actually going to try and say he's better than AJ, but fair play on that, on that regards. But nah, I'm just going to leave it there. Moving on, moving on. Let's see. Well, of course, at number one, we've got the Gypsy King. He's his newfound bestie. His newfound brother in Christ. Uh, I think they became best friends. They, they've been best friends for a while now. I think they became best friends about um, last week, Thursday or something like that. Yeah, yeah. They've been best buddies ever since. Brothers in Christ. So yeah, Tyson Fury is number one. The best heavyweight in the division according to Andy Destroy Ruiz. Yeah, some, some mad list in my opinion. <laughs> Let's recap. At number five, we got... <laughs> We've got Kristen Nightmare Ariola at number five. 
At number four, we had Deontay Wilder. At number three, Andy the Destroyer Ruiz. Number two, Anthony Joshua. At number one, Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Yeah, let me know what you think of Andy's list and put your list down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new here. Slap up the notification bell and I'm out.